Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Degray, and today we continue our Let's Play of Crestorio 2, where we in the last episode just did the quite a bit of expansion and got some very nice setups up and running. Particularly proud of uh, the crashing speed of this one. That is insane. That should give us <laughs> enough uh, glass for the foreseeable future. So today's episode, I think it's about time we try something rather new, I think. So at the end of last episode, we are looking at our rare metals and uh, we are starting to produce a surplus. But we are also talking about moving out, guessing this one over here to uh, move it in. But one thing I started to think about in between episodes is that that has to be some other way instead of us tra uh, transporting it back and chlorine out here and back and forth and such. And that's when I remembered that we can actually do it with matter. So um, the matter setup we have up here is actually exactly what we want. So maybe if we take speed beacons, or not speed beacons, but singularity beacons with speed in, we can make some kind of good setup where we have a certain amount going into um, matter and then transporting directly into um, what's it called? Rare metals instead of making it into um, matter cubes. But that is what I want to try here at the start of this episode because um, it is catching up now, but to have it uh, safe for the future. I think it could be a quite cool thing to have uh, stored up. Might want to expand this one out as well afterwards. But right now I just want to try and make something like that. So what if we just go and try to make it right here? We will make need some converters. Pretty much the same way as we're doing here. Uh, should we just do it with stone? still have a nice big patch of that. We'll have a nice big patch of copper. But uh, let's try it with stone for now. That is also one of the things that are easy to get. And I think might have some uh, things in base as well. If we do stone, as we did before, we then need one matter plant to turn it back into raw right here uses eight matter every 10 seconds this produces oh if for one second sorry this uses produces three and a half every 10. the ratio is uh, is not that great to be honest we'll use a ton of stone to make uh, rare metals is there anything that's better than or better at making matter than that one it makes five of ton in matter cubes then makes two and a half one oh maybe if we use seems iron might actually be better to use in stone but then it's a five instead and then we can pretty much do oh we can also raw emersite that might that's a one to one that might actually be better to use that's just converting one to another, and that is also quite easy to transport by um, by train. We do have enough outposts here and there to make it viable. Uh, iron, iron out here. Hmm. It's either one to one or bit less. Let's do it with iron for now. That should be uh, the easiest one to get. Let's just get it researched. Shouldn't take that long. That means we'll have iron doing it. Let's try that one for now. And that will be... Oh wait, we can also do uranium. Hmm. Because we do have a lot of uranium stored up. That is pretty much backing up and this one is not even close to being used yet. No, let, let's go with iron. I want to use iron. 
like debating things on the fly. Let's see here. Iron 10 to 5. This one needs 8 a second. So if you make 3 of these, it can pretty much support 2 of these. If we do... I will have to go up to 8. 16 to 8 at some point, but... Uh, let's try this one for now. That means we'll need 2 of you to do 16. We'll need 3 of these. Let's just look at it. To have a somewhat good ratio. It's not a perfect one-to-one. -one, but I think it could work. That's 15. This is consuming 16. Then we just need to line it up. Let's see, how can we do this? Also, we want Singularity Beacons around to get the speed up and running on this. Gonna be the same problem as before. Yeah, but we just need one in, so it shouldn't be that bad a one out. Maybe we can just deal. Oh, we need to mark that one with chlorine. Pretty much take this one. But that's not gonna work. We'll have to take one of the other ones. It's this one that needs needs but that has a lot of holes in it well, let's try and take this for now that's nine remove all of the blue chests and the inputs are fine for now i should move all the red ones out just get rid of all of it if we take this one place it down Let's do it over here, just for now, and then we'll move it in just a second. I think right here is somewhat in the middle. And you can kind of get deconstructed. And we need all of you to go away, to be honest. You don't need that. And then we had a 3 to 2. So if we do 1, to 3, 4 to 3, 5 to 3 would be an almost perfect ratio. Let's see here. Matter plants. 1, 3, 4. That's 25. Then we do three is that's going to be 24 so that is decent enough for what we need Go. So you will convert into raw here but um I shouldn't run it all the time i should probably run it when some of this runs out so maybe It'll run to 100k and then it'll stop. You take productivity. Also, you don't. We can run all of this at the top, maybe. Right here. Oh, I have all of these. I don't think then. Other than to connect the power up. There we are. That's connected up. You will just produce normal matter from iron. That is going to be our go-to setup at the moment. We'll have one empty slot here. Um, don't know if we should do anything with it though. But then one more just to consume the rest of this. But uh, that means it'll not run at maximum speed. That is going to be the only only issues from doing this. Let's try and hook this up. Oh, you are gonna be in the way, ain't you? Or aren't you even? Um, 
to just jump it from here instead to these in between. This coming down this way, that's not going to be needed anymore. This could be fine. That connects up, so bit in theory, move it up one more and just let it run. Let's see if we can't hook this up some good way. Let's remove these just to take it from the start again. Okay, these six needs to hook up. That hooks up, that hooks up. Dude right here will not be able to get them as we want. Dude up top here instead. We could be able to hook them all up in a somewhat decent place. So that will hook up all of our matter producers. These five goes to there, output some matter. That will go into these. Good in theory, just turn them all and yeah, can we? Oh, we should probably just be able to hook it up like this. So you'll go to here, here, and over here. That should mean they're all hooked up. There we are. That's one huge connected network. Then we just need a few chests to output into. What if you just do that at the bottom here? Uh, we can't put a limit if we do this unless we have one room in between for a belt. Could do that to limit it, as I kind of want to do that. Into a passive provider, and you'll be limited to, you'll only output if there's less than, let's say, 100k of this. Less than 100k you'll work, more you'll stop, and then we can just uh, get these filled up. So, here, yeah, and there. The rest will just keep working no matter what. Now I just need the iron ore in to these ones. And you don't take productivity, we already saw that. Do you take productivity? Nope. But you do take speed, so doing this, I oh, wonder how fast it's going to get. It's going to take quite a few uh, speed beacons though, or speed modules. That's fine, we should have more on the way. I just kind of want to see what kind of numbers we can pull. That is something I am enjoying very much. So what are we hitting in here? Oh, craft breeds 12. That's oh, so just 1-4. So if craft breeds 12 to meet each of these, we'll output uh, 120 per second. That'll output about 500 a second. Somewhere around that uh, mark. That is not bad. So now we just need to get the iron in. So you'll need craft is 12, you need 120 iron flowing into this one. That means we'll actually just do two. So if we do it on two, and we'll need a 90 and a 30. So if we do one of these, or actually, yeah, one of these and one of the red ones, let's not waste things. That should be the 120 we need for this to run. Ooh, we could actually make it even faster if we do this on the sides in between. Let, let's keep it at this. I, I think crafting speed 12 is enough. We can always upgrade it a bit in the future. But you'll get iron in at 120 per second. It uses 120 per second. So can we do that to request iron in? Yeah, we can. Let's just check. That runs exactly at the speed as soon as this uh, gets it in fast enough. Might have to increase this one though. That starts these down here. 
produces that. Since we have more than uh, 100 care at the moment, this will not run at full speed. That is running exactly as we need it. Let's just fire up the rest of them. We have to move this one over. Misslight a small amount. There we are. We want things to look good. That can almost make these run at full speed. Don't want it in my inventory, please. That should give us at least... Oh. <laughs> Look at the robots go crazy. That should give us at least enough to have uh, this one produced. Yeah. That means this one will always max out at 100. If it goes below 100, this will start to work. Right now, these are just building up matter. wonder how much they can stack in one of these. How much are stacking over here? 200k okay that's fine <laughs> we'll just uh, keep it here for now that will be our rare metals factory that's going to cost a bit of uh, iron one of this going to empty this one out extremely quickly that does seem like that is what's happening at the moment we might have to go down and increase this one while we're at it to make sure we have enough iron going in until this one is full. Uh, if not, we need to find some other way of limiting in the inputs. That is probably what we should have done instead. So let's just try this. Uh, yeah, I want to limit that instead. Ooh, this is gonna... Sorry, robots. I'll give you something to do now. I want to stop you. Instead of just building up iron here, I kind of want... It's fine with the two requested chests, but we need to make sure that... Um, or we can actually just take it from one chest, to be honest. Because we need to do this. We need to move it over one. So... I can just get it down one more. So we'll have to do two requested chests. Right. Here, I think it'll be fine. We'll just go at the top each place. Actually at the bottom. So right here we'll go out. Out's the 90. This is the 30. Go out these ways. They will go down here and they will go in. And this one will go in as well. But of course we'll need to have a little belt in between. Let's just get some of that into my inventory, please. That'd be just a few belts here. Just give me a hundred, that is fine. Hopefully we'll have some being made that can get delivered quite soon. Because then on this one, we'll pretty much set the limit saying... We actually set this one to... It's less than 90. Or should we just set it to less than 100? This one is less than... If we do 90,000, that means we'll have a bit of buffer between the 100 where this one is just buffering and down to the other one. Let's try this instead. Of course, we'll still request all of the iron. Wonder if this will even hold enough to uh, to handle this. Right now we're not outputting anything. Let's just get it completely filled. You can just get the maximum this one can hold. Then we'll move this around to the other places. So we'll have one up here, 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 and there. That should be a double fallback or a double way of controlling this. Make sure we don't uh, overproduce in what we need in this one. 
because this is a lot of iron we're storing. And look at the little machines, they are just struggling to catch up. But yeah, let's leave it. I think that is, uh, that is quite good. I was about to say this would be uh, turning iron into gold, but uh, we're turning iron into rare metals, and rare metal is... It is a kind of gold, I'm guessing. There might be gold mixed into it. I actually never looked at the, the icon. Check. Yeah, I, I can see I can see gold here as well. So let's say we're turning iron into gold. And this one we'll like to get a small upgrade on. So let's take our old one. I think this one should do it nicely. Hopefully that will uh, give us more throughput. Might have to get a second one for it. At least this should empty it out. It'll, it'll slowly uh, change as, as we get the resources we need. But there we are. That is most of the things we need to uh, get uh, sorted. Now I just need pretty much the crystals to, to increase. To have a somewhat decent setup going. Is that just because of the nitric acid? It's always that nitric acid that I've made so badly that it's needed to have an, get an upgrade. Because this one over here, it is working, but I won't just define it as a good setup. So let's do a quick nitric acid setup. Um, not quite sure the best way to do it though. Because almost all of this is running. Kind of want to get um, some more things into it because it is just out of thin air plus a bit. So in that regard it's um, looking quite good. How much are we producing of nitric acid? Two point, pretty stable. Two point four. In theory, we could just move this one out a bit. Good at. That's gonna slow it down a bit. There's actually no need for that. Pretty much, We'd rather want the speed, won't we? Unless we can make it an advanced chemical plants. Or we can make it an advanced chemical plant. It means we can just fly in the items we need. Just make the ammonia. This one is slowly producing. Just checking that we have enough fuel cells. It's, it seems fine. All of this. Let's just mark this as another mole. There we are. Let's get some advanced chemical plants in. See how much of this we can get uh, get done. Might just steal this one. For now, please take you. Get rid of all this junk up here, please. Get rid of all the blue chests. And the rest can kind of stay for now. What if we do that? Just make a huge nitric acid setup. Might as well start some, uh, some science as well while we're waiting. Getting some of these lower ones out of the way because I kind of want to get all the research done. Oh, that's an expensive one. Don't want that. That'll get the robot to speed up a bit more than I'm comfortable with at the moment. Expensive. Let's just get this one running. Shouldn't take that long to get through. Change you into nitric acid. Change all of these to something else. Now we can change you to. Let's just do this to make sure we can. 
Because if we do this as a setup, we should be able to output way more things. And uh, this is pretty much just the input we need. With one in. But we need two different here. That means we can actually easily do it right here at the moment. We just need to hook up the things we need. And we don't need an output, so we don't need these. They can all go away. We just need an input. Then we need just a uh, one, one, two on each of these. They are one. Two, two. It means we can copy this one over. We can get a request to chest in for all of the rare metals we need. Not quite sure how many we need, but uh, do that. A little 55. Let's just put it at 200. I think that'll be fine, even after we get the speed up. Just to have a bit storage. Stored even. Let's remove these. We know what to do with them. We'll just have to get the inflow a bit better. So here and maybe go up one further. Then we can have the barrel in. But maybe do it over here and get it uh, moved over that way. So what if we do make it right here do right here to be honest and if we just shift this one up one i think it'll be fine to here that way we can get this one hooked up that way and this one can go this way maybe just having it on the opposite side right here on the edge Let's just check if this is the possibility. So right here, one will be needed on the second one. And that's going to be a bit of a mess. There we go. There we go. Oh. Well, that's silly. Luckily, we can fix that. We do have room for it, but uh, it was quite close to being an issue. That is fine down here. That's all of these hooked up. That means we just need the input. Should we give each of these um, their own dedicated input? Instead of having this one here and here and here, we'll want these to get their own. Do we have enough room for that? That is the question. We actually have this entire room we can use, but I don't really want to. So we can set up one right here as the furthest away. Then we can actually do one right here as well for the second one. What if we do that? You'll jump to here and you'll just kind of jump to that one. And then it's all about how much you want to, uh, to get in. Because we can't jump this one across. Let's just do this first. Hook all of these up so we have... Uh, is the pipes going the correct way? Let's 
that seems good that's all of these hooked up that goes in here this one needs to go out somewhere you're right here and get the other one Maybe giving it this dedicated as well. Can we move it down a bit? Oh wait, we can actually just give it a way more room. Let's just cut this one. Put it all the way down to the edge here. As soon as things get removed. That should give us more than enough room up top. To play with. It looks like there's way more room on the side. Oh yeah, that should be. I don't know why. Let's just keep it here. That'll be fine. And now there shouldn't be any issues with the room. And we can just do a dedicated one for each of them. That is so much easier to work with. So you'll get your own. And Why is that so hard to get to fit in? We have because it's one over. That's just typical. We're gonna do it here instead, and then we can do you right there, and you'll go to here, and you'll just jump to up here. Go that way, and you that way. Then for this one, and we do this. At the same place. Do the same over here. Not the most pretty thing I've ever built, but it should work. Then we just need an output for all of um, the acid on the side. I think that should be somewhat easy to just jump across. Do all four of them. Will that make it easier to, uh, all three of them even? Make it easier to jump. these in then in theory we'll pretty much just jump to oh that's wrong right there isn't it that means this one will go over here we could also just get it down and around I must just need one of them that connects up That connects up, and this one connects up. Then in theory, we could just run it at the bottom. At doing something like this for uh, or output with going this way into a barreling machine here. Yeah, let's let's try this as as a setup. I think that could work. Because then you'll barrel nitric acid. Please fill that. That will work. Goes in and out. Just fill the entire chest. And then we just need to request in the things we need. You'll be ammonia. You'll be mineral water. Means we can just do that one, that one, and in theory we can just take this and stamp on top of the two other ones. Make sure that these goes the correct way. Look at that! That is nitric acid flowing. It's going down here. It's getting barrels. That needs to change that one. We just need to get this one moved around to the other ones. And I know we probably don't have enough being produced to what's called barrels. But we are getting it with the ton of things. That means we can just add in this one. And see how fast we can get this producing.
This is these are looking good, these setups. But we're of course running out of uh, the first thing now, which is something we will have to uh, solve very soon. That uh, ammonia is not working. Might be something we do in the next episodes. Or we could just do a very quick setup right now to have uh, it working. I think we should just do... No, because that requires uh, double throughput. Requires the setup. And I kind of want to do a better one. So let's, uh, let's set that up next episode where we can do it a bit better. With a bit more of uh, finesse like this one. And I think that'll be good. So do comment what you think about this setup. And what do you think about all the speed things we're doing? Grafton speed 75.2 should catapult us into the future in terms of everything we need. That is uh, most certainly true. So um, thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. Please remember to hit that like button. It helped me out a lot with the, the exposure on YouTube. And if you're new to the channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button. And with that, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.